Hey guys, Bobpar1 here. Wanted to do another little quick review uh, to tutorial on a program here called Mixcraft 5. It says that right there. This program is not free right off the bat, just so you guys know. Of course, there will probably be people out there on YouTube who will tell you how to get it for free, so if you guys want to, you can go do that. Um, one thing that I just need to tell you guys about that I really didn't like is if you look on here, all these little library pieces that you can add to your uh, your song, you have to download those each separately. I mean, you don't have to go on the internet, but if they'll all be here, but you won't be able to use them until you click this download all button. You have to go through all the different categories over here and download all of them. There's something like 800 of these, so that takes about a half hour to go through and try to download everything. So that kind of annoyed me. Um, so other things just getting into the actual program now is one thing I do like is if you have a track uh, that you want to add effects there's plenty of effects on here that you can use a couple of these actually uh, this one G snap auto tune and daily dots this those three are not actually free I mean they are free uh, two of them are free but uh, those do not come with the program when you get it you have to download those separately so I'll show you how a couple of those work later. Um, for now, I'm just going to put a random beat on here and show you a couple of the things that I can do with this. So, yeah, I'll just start at the beginning. You guys can just hear what it sounds like regularly, and then I'll show you some effects and stuff. So, here we go. So you can see I can play that as many times as I want. It'll sound the same. So now if I go to track, I have all my effects, and if I try to do something like this, um, I'm just going to choose a preset I made, I was just messing around, I turned everything up on this auto tune. This is not free, uh, it's like 200 bucks or something like that, but I'm sure there are people on YouTube who um, will show you how to get it for free, so it's not that big of a deal. So if I apply that, here let me show you how it sounds now. See, and you can see here, I'll show you, uh, if I hit the edit button here, you can see this is the this is what I had on there. Apparently it's not all the way up, I don't know, but it's what I had on there. So there's that, and then let me try another effect. If I do uh, reverb, let's try reverb, and put it on there. Default setting, I'm just going to use the default setting. And then let me play this for you guys as well. Um, here we go. And you can clearly hear the reverb on that. So, there's nothing. Now I can just take that off if I don't like it. Just click that button. It's gone. Okay, uh, you can actually burn these all to CDs too if you want to. Of course, you have your zoom out and zoom in functions so you can see what you're doing. Settings, preferences, um, this function as well. So, it's effects so you can add things to there. Uh, media means it's recording from outside, so it's basically just audio recordings like I'm doing now um, from instruments. Uh, another thing I did like is you can record yourself. I'm just going to keep talking and then um, I'll just play it for you with the auto tune and everything on it. So you can see the bars do pop up and uh, you can tell sort of what I'm doing and if I just stop this now. We can go back to the beginning here and listen to it. I'll show you how it sounds just regularly. Here we go. So you can see the bars do pop up. And uh, you can tell sort of what I'm doing. So that's that. Uh, and then I'll add. I'll take this. I'll go ahead and hit track. And add this auto tune on it. I'll use that weird setting I found before, and I'll show it to you again, just like that. So here we go. So you can see the bars do pop up. And you can see that sounds quite a lot different. And reverb actually does work on voice as well. If you do want to try that, um, let me just go ahead and show you that. All these work on voices and everything, so you sort of just gotta um, learn 
which ones sound good for what. It's just there's a really big learning curve with this program, just because it's really comp. It's more complicated than it looks. Um, it is quite. Well, as I said, it's quite complicated. You gotta learn where everything is. I mean, it's not that bad compared to some of the ones you can get, but it just really depends. Um, let me just play this back for you now. And again, you can hear the reverb and everything. So, that's how that works. And another thing you can do uh, is you, you can do fade offs. If you just take this and click, it allows you to fade it off at the end. Of course, you're not going to be able to hear it very much with that. So, I'll do the beat. I'll fade off the beat from here and I'll play it for you. There we go. Okay, here we go. You can see that faded off as I did this, and then of course you can take that, you can drag it back to make it even more fade off. Let me show you there, and if you just start it from here again, you can see it'll fade off less fast, but still at the same point. So here we go. And you can see it fades off less fast, but it does the same thing. It just depends on how you want to do it. Um, as you can see, this is the record button right there. You have to arm whatever you want for recording. You can see you just click that button to arm it or unarm it. And then there's this one too, which just takes you all the way back to the beginning. Obviously, that's all the way to the end. And then you go all the way back to the beginning again. And then this one is rewind, obviously. Fast forward just by increments and then play. Stop. Same thing. And for some weird reason, I don't know why you'd want to do this, but you can change the colors on these things to for some reason. I don't know. Um, and you can put the time on here instead of the beats if you really if you want to look at that. And of course, you have all your standard things up here: new, save. I mean, sorry, new, open, save. And then this is add different sounds from different places if you've got them. Uh, show sound library, which is, again is this thing down here. Same thing. This is undo, redo, burn. Um, and then this is obviously, it says mix down to audio file, haven't really messed with that much. Here, uh, of course, zoom out and zoom in features. And then your preferences, which is just recording, sound devices, all that stuff. So, you can change that. The snap feature is kind of cool. Uh, let me show you, if I hit click snap to measure, what this does when I move it, it snaps it to different points here. Of course, this isn't corresponding to the sound, so it looks kind of weird. Um, if I click to beats, it'll be more clear, so it'll pop. So you can see it'll pop to the measure. And you can, of course, change this to pop to, um, I'm just going to show you half notes. And it'll pop halfway, halfway, and then full, halfway, full, and it does that. Uh, I usually prefer to have the snap off, which means you can put it anywhere. It doesn't matter. You don't have to snap it to any particular beat. And um, another thing you can do with this that I liked quite a lot is this. It's musical keyboarding. I don't know if any of you have ever used GarageBand, but if I just click something, uh, let's try that, and click musical typing, um, I'll show you. I can click different notes and make different sounds. So here we go. If I go, if I go deeper, you can see I click there and it'll start getting deeper now. That's not even making any noise. Um, you know, let's do something you can hear a little better. Such as drums, maybe. Hi-hat. Drum. No. Uh, some of these are kind of weird, though. You do have to choose the kit if you want to have different sounds. Oh, here we go. Sorry. You have to go to the, ra the right range, otherwise it doesn't work. So as you can see, that'll do typing, whatever you, however you want to do it. And you can take that off. You can change the volume so one's louder than the other. It just depends on what you want to do. So let me just play this back to you from the beginning, um, just to show you how this works. So you'll see it'll stop one and it'll fade out one and just start into my weird audio track again. Let me show you.
and then that'll fade out too so you can see um then that would be it for my basic tutorial of Mixcraft 5 by Acoustica so I'll put a link in the description to download this and those autotune effects if you did like those and you want to do experiment with those I'll put the autotune download links in the description so thank you very much and hope this helped please comment rate and subscribe thank you